military tensions are re-emerging in the South China Sea, where Australian warship HMAS Parramatta has recently conducted exercises with the U.S. Navy. In a tweet, the U.S. Navy confirmed three of its warships had transited the South China Sea in support of security and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. The Defense Department said over the past few days, the Anzac-class frigate exercised with the U.S. ships as they passed through the contested region. Defense experts believe Australia's participation in the military drills alongside the U.S. would have been planned months in advance. But the show of force comes at a significant time, as other nations express growing concerns with China's expansion in the region. The maneuvering in the South China Sea was announced days after China bolstered its presence by setting up two administrative bodies on islands in the disputed water dubbing the area its youngest city. In March, Beijing also launched two new research stations on artificial reefs in territory claimed by the Philippines and others. A number of Chinese media outlets have reported that a Southeast Asian country has purchased the FTC-2000G light fighter becoming the first foreign client for the combat jet outside Africa. The contract was reportedly signed in January with deliveries expected to begin in 2021. Also known as the JL-9, the fighter entered service in the mid-2000s and is currently in service in Sudanese Air Force as well as in China's own fleet. The FTC-2000G has improved multi-role capabilities over the original FTC-2000 fighter and is capable of carrying a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munition types including PL-8 and PL-9 missiles. The fighter integrates a pulse Doppler radar, a heads-up display and a full glass cockpit, and is prized for its low operational costs and conservative maintenance requirements. The aircraft is one of three classes of very light fighter jets China is offering for export alongside the JL-8 which has seen widespread sales in the JL-10. The JL-9 primarily serves as a trainer in China's own air force, but is capable of carrying out a range of boat missions. The aircraft was ranked third in the world among fighter trainers in terms of combat capability. North Korea has shown an increase in inspecting its artillery's readiness in carrying out air force flight operations heightening tensions in the region. The communist country has conducted five major weapons tests this year, this, apart from smaller-scale artillery firing drills. The latest one took place recently, during which the North fired what appeared to be surface-to-ship cruise missiles off its east coast. The North also flew Sukhoi variant fighter jets and MiG type planes above the eastern coastal city of Wanzhen and fired multiple air-to-ground missiles into the East Sea. A South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff officer had also earlier said there has been an increase in North Korea's surveillance activities in skies near its demarcation line with China over the Yellow Sea. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.